Now the humidity is still a factor on this fall afternoon, but no rain in the forecast. That's the good news as you look inside Everbank Stadium here in Jacksonville. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. And right off the bat, look at him lay out there and make the grab. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 41-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Man open, here is Jones. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of 35. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. From six yards away. And the Jaguars get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know, they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. On past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. On second down, Burrow. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. 
And Boyd going to pick up a Bengals first down as the tackle made up near the 35. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five at the 39-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and five. Burrow throw. Throw left side complete to Chase. And Chase going to pick up a Bengals first down as the tackle made down at the 33. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Short throw to Smith. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Jaguars 26 yard line. Here's second and three. Play action. It's Burrow. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field that took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Now a second and ten. Again, it's Burrow. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Bengals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. 
Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. But let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. And we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Jones has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. On second and very short, Lawrence. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. <laughs> On first down, Lawrence. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Christian Kirk, 26 yards. And the Jaguars will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point from McManus is good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. touchdown here's McManus now to kick it away
And he'll be tapping just shy of the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field as they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. Second down in the yard. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Burrow looking to pass. And that's caught one more time by Bull. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. play of the half for Burrow and company. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 30. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. On second down, here's Burrow. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now it's Burrow. And he's caught. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Burrow on play action. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And Burrow going to throw again. Got a man open. It's Chase. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second and a couple. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Third 
Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Foyasane Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Here's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Burrow. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now Burrow. And it's caught. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Mixon will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. And McPherson on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. On the draw, here's Lawrence. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. I we could easily read his mind there. There was just no place to go. Tried to bounce it and get outside on the draw. 
Yeah, but the defense wasn't thinking pass. They knew that they were running it. And, and I love the way that they covered all the gaps. You know, we can do all the lettering and the numbering and all of those things, but those run fits that we talk about all the time, each person fitting in the proper spot on defense, you see the end result when they do that. Here's Lawrence to throw. And the hook up here with Ridley. And he'll be tackled right on the chart at a 45. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense are saying go right ahead with those. They'll come up first and ten here. Lawrence. Midfield inside the 45. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if you can make someone miss in the open field. Plenty of time left, plus all three timeouts. Here's first and ten. Here's Lawrence. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So first and ten now from the 30. Here's the rookie from Auburn, Tank Bigsby, to about the 26 here. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Second and six coming up. And Bigsby once more. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. A big play looming on third down. On the counter, ETN. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. The home crowd here absolutely loves it, as they should, getting the field goal in the closing moments and likely going to get out of here with a W. A W, celebrations all around. How about how everyone's going to leave this stadium, right? And you know something? He probably makes more money than most of the 60,000 people here, but they're all willing to buy him dinner tonight, aren't they? Oh, they don't care. He's a man of the people right now. <laughs> Splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Four seconds to go. This is likely it. A final shot now for Burrow. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a 
took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.